If you've ever wanted to flip houses but have no idea where to start, you're going to enjoy this video. Shecky, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show. Uh, where you get to work one-on-one -on -one with me and my team to start, grow, build your real estate portfolios, build your real estate empire, right? And the dude I'm working with today, man, is my dude, Shecky. We have been working together for uh, quite a while. We've sold him several rental properties, right? My team, we're managing all those rentals for you, right? And uh, recently... Uh, you decided you, because you got a decent chunk of cash sitting around, right? You got about a quarter million dollars you want to put into put into action, right? You got a quarter million dollars. You want to see if you could uh, put it to work for you, right? That's what real estate investing is all about, man. You are an out-of-state guy too, right? So it's ho totally passive, 100% passive, right? So you got this quarter million. It's just sitting there. You got your boots on the ground team, Holton Wise. We're sitting here. You're like, hey, man, let's do something. Let's flip a house, right? Let's get a flip. And the house that I found for you uh, to do this flip, I think you're going to dig, man. It's it's perfect. It's a nice low-risk flip, right? You're actually going to take advantage of the fact that there's tenants in there. I'm going to get into that in a second. This is the kind of flip you really want. 7119 Velma Avenue, Parma, 44129. Been on the market almost two months, and it's priced now at only 99000 They originally tried pricing it at 115000 And this is cool. This is like one of the flips you really want, right? There's a couple different ways you could you could you know get yourself into a flip opportunity. One way is the house is just fucked up, right? Just destroyed beyond belief. That's one way, right? And you add value that way by putting it all back together, right? Major issues, right? So many issues that most people can't handle it. Or the second way you get yourself into a flip is what you got here, okay? This is what's cool, and this is what I really like about this little suburb called Parma, okay? The inventory of housing stock, you get all these nice little homes built in the 50s, like 1,200 square feet typically, right? Just easy homes to deal with, right? But, but it's a housing market that's not very expensive, but it's too expensive for a lot of investors to be enticed by the rental returns, right? So like the market itself, it's 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 geared towards like first time home buyers, right? So like this particular home, okay? It's gonna have an ARV of $140,000, okay? 140 grand when we put it all back together, cosmetically make it beautiful. But right now, what we have here, if you notice there's furniture, right? There's stuff all up in the house, okay? It's it's dated, but you notice there's crap everywhere because we got a tenant in there, right? We got a tenant living there, okay? And the tenant is paying $950 a month in rent, which is great, right? That's great, but if you go to like a C-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market, you get that same $950 in rent, even a little bit more, and you could, you know buy the home for like half of 140000 even less sometimes, right? So this little market right here, it doesn't make that much sense for real estate investors right so you know even at 950 with the property currently sitting exactly how it is right 950 in rent comes in hundred thousand dollar purchase price right it's not that appealing to a real estate investor right so real estate investors coming into this particular property they're not too excited about that 950 in rent if they got to pay a hundred thousand dollars right because again dude we just go down to like old brooklyn or other parts of west cleveland dude we'll get you that same rent but you're spending like 65 70k right so nobody really wants this from an investment standpoint right and then that leads you to who the main buyers are in this city, this Parma city, right? And that's your owner-occupied buyers, a lot of people that are first-time home buyers, okay? But there's crap everywhere, dude. They ain't paying no $140,000. I mean, this don't make no damn sense. There's a tenant living there, right? If you got a family 
and they're trying to move into this house, okay? Like when they go in there, it, it, it just doesn't make sense, right? There's other people in there showing it. It doesn't work. Plus, it's dated, right? So this, this is why this works out good for you. You can come in and take advantage of the situation, right? Because right now, you're already a real estate investor. You understand the game. You got a property manager. So you want to go in, pick this thing up, collect the rent till we remove that tenant, right? The tenant's on a month-to-month -month basis paying nine fifty, right? Collect a little bit of rent for a couple months, and then we'll get the tenant out of there. Then we'll flip the sucker. You could sell it for 140000 So as far as what we need to do to get that 140000 right? Like right here, the kitchen, right? What you see here, we got to replace these floors, right? So we're going to do new vinyl allure flooring, okay? We're going to do that. We're also going to do matching vinyl allure flooring in the, in the bathroom. We're going to do Home Depot, Lowe's, quality, cabinetry, cabinet, we're going to get rid of this crummy fridge, get rid of this old crappy dishwasher, replace it with a stainless steel package. We're going to repaint all the walls in this house, right? Let's go back to a couple of those photos, right? Like, dude, there's crap everywhere, right? Holes in the wall, all kinds of shit, right? We're going to go in, repaint all these walls agreeable gray, fresh coat on this white trim for the upstairs, right? Uh, if we're upstairs, we'll get a nice carpet downstairs will refinish the existing hardwoods make this thing look fresh dude the bathroom definitely needs a makeover right like i don't know what color that is dude is that blue is that turquoise i don't know but it's not gonna fly right so we're gonna upgrade that right so as far as our costs go 3500 to 6500 is going to be the cost to do all the painting and patching of the walls. Refinishing of those hardwoods and doing the carpet, right? That's going to be a four to six cost. Doing that kitchen, you know, getting the, the cabinetry, the countertops, the stainless steel appliances. We're going to drop between 10 and 15, probably closer to 10, okay? And then the bathroom, we're going to spend approximately three to five, more likely closer to three, because we could just reglaze that, right? Parma, the nice thing about Parma is it's like first-time home buyers, so you don't have to get into like a $5,000 custom shower, right? We could be closer on a $3,000 basis. And then as far as the kitchen, we could be closer to that $10,000 range because we don't need to go extremely high fixtures for this price point, right? So in addition to that, a couple other things we need to do uh, to this property. The cool thing, though, is, right, your big-ticket items, your furnace, your AC appear to be in good working order. Possible, possible we may need to drop $1,000 because this hot water tank appears to be a little older. But I'm not 100% sure, so I put that in the high end of our budget. We may or may not need to do that. We should be fine on the furnace, right? That's looking pretty good, AC good. And then we should have no issues with the electrical. Nice updated electric panel here. Where is that one photo, though? I wanted to show you something. <laughs> Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. And, ah, here we go. The deck. I've got another 2,500 uh, budgeted for us to fix up this deck, right? You see, you got like the boards are all old and rotted and they're peeling up. So about $2,500 to get the backyard looking good. And then I wanted to drop another 2000 in the basement because it does look dark. It does look dingy. So I'd like to get down there, hit it with some dry lock paint, make it look nice and fresh, clean, crisp, right? The worst thing you could do when you're trying to sell a, a home to a first time home buyer is give them like a, a dingy looking basement, right? And that appears like we may have a little bit of moisture coming up on the wall right there. So when we do clean it up, make it fresh, it's gonna be dry lock paint, right? So all of that stuff that I've laid out for you, on the low end, if we have no issues, the rehab on this particular home to get it ready to rock and roll, get it ready to sell for 140000 should be approximately 25000 However, that's an open bid, right? At the moment, with the information I have, note that that can get as high as 44000 But we're going to do more due diligence on this one, bro. We're going to get a home inspector into the property to check things out, right? Some things that could possibly increase our cost, right? If we have to do the roof, that's going to be about $6,000, 
okay? If we have to do that hot water tank, that's going to be about $1,000. So if that thing craps out on us. And then the rest of the variance is just based on my open-endedness of, like, the general things of the... The painting and the patching, the flooring, the kitchen, and the bath. I don't think we're going to be closer to the high-end stuff, uh, the high-end cost for our kitchen or our bath, because small kitchen, small bath, we don't have to get the most expensive fixtures in the world, right? Like, it's going to vary based upon the size, the fixture level, uh, the appliance package. We'll be closer to the bottom end. So we should be probably fairly close to that $25,000 budget. The only major items that we really need to worry about blowing our $25,000 budget would be a $6,000 roof and a $1,000 hot water tank, right? So we definitely, of course, want to make our offer contingent on inspection. Send the inspector in there. He'll tell us the condition of the roof because current sellers, they don't know, right? And as far as the hot water tank goes, you know, when new buyers come in, like it works right now, uh, you know, maybe their inspector will say some issues there. It might be smart to just replace it, get a nice fresh one in there because it is looking a little rough. So just know that $1,000 is going to be out there, right? So with all that said, bro, I want you to get this thing locked up at eighty-five grand. You get the sucker locked up at eighty-five grand. If things go well, we drop twenty-five on the rehab. We sell it for a hundred forty. When we sell it for a hundred forty, you'll be paying seven percent in commissions, another fourteen hundred in your closing costs, meaning you'll have spent a total of $121,200, leaving you with a profit, a nice cool passive profit of $18,800. Now, that's if everything goes smooth, right? The biggest thing, the biggest like main risk I see here is like having to do a roof, right? If we need to put on a $6,000 roof. But again, it goes back to that home inspection. That's why we're going to have that home inspector check everything out. And that's a cause for negotiation. So say we lock this up, nice cash, nice strong cash offer contingent on that home inspection, right? If the, le uh, the home inspector comes back and lets us know, like, yo, dude, this roof is jacked. You gotta need to do a new, need to do a new roof, man. Roof's only got a year left, right? First time home buyers, they don't like buying houses where they know they gotta do a roof in like 12 months, 18 months, right? That freaks them out. You gotta know your audience, right? So if that's the case, that's new information, we could take that back to the seller and possibly try to negotiate a further discount. So say we're under contract at 85, We'll come back to them. Hey, man, we didn't realize the roof is jacked. We'll do it for 79 If they say no, maybe they'll counter. Maybe we meet in the middle, right? Maybe they pay three, right? They give give us a $3,000 discount, right? And then instead of making your 18 8 you make 15 8 Make a 15 8 Man, that's still a lot of money uh, when you're not really doing anything, right? You're just sending some money that's just sitting out there back into Holton Wise. We're handling all the work for you. That's a pretty quick, easy way to put another fifteen to $20,000 in your pocket, right? So... For all those reasons, brother, this is why I targeted this property for you. I think this will be a solid uh, potential, deal to do, potential deal to get you your first flip in the Cleveland market. Of course, we have to get the seller to accept that, but I, I think it's a very strong chance we can because, dude, again, the only, there's only two people that could buy this, right? Investors. But they don't want to pay a hundred grand for nine fifty in rent because we can get it way cheaper. And then first time home buyers, but dude, what first time home buyers excited to see this house? It looks grimy, it looks gross, the tenants craps everywhere. It's it's not a recipe for success. So you coming in with a cash offer eighty five, man. Dude, I think that's a great starting point. And then after we get that inspection, we'll work from there. So if that makes sense, if you want to do the deal, uh, send. Uh, you know, just reply to this private email. Send us uh, what you want to do, the exact price you want to offer. Maybe you think we can come in less than 80. We'll, of course, write the offer. I'm just giving you, like, what I think, you know, best case scenario where, where I think it will likely land. But if you want to start, you know, lower than that, we absolutely can. And then, of course, after the inspection report, we could go back to that seller, try to beat them up a little bit more. And uh, we will see uh, what we can do. And then, of course, after my team, we get it all fixed up, dude. We will then go ahead and sell it for you on the open market to those first-time home buyers. We flip a lot of houses uh, in this market as well, and Parma is about my favorite place to flip houses. So, uh, if you haven't actually seen some of the other episodes, uh, check out my other show, the House Flipping Show, where I walk you guys through some of my own flips as well as uh, interview investors who are flipping homes in their own markets. And everybody else, if you want to flip houses, you're interested in flipping houses, you want to work with my team. 
passively flip houses out of state like my dude Shecky is, go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, click the MLS Search Analysis Show, order yourself a package of videos. We got three packs, four packs, ten packs. I got to tell you, if you want to flip houses, guys, I recommend getting the big packages, the ten packs, because we have to do a lot of analysis on a lot of properties, send out a lot of offers before we get the right deal done. Not every one of these deals is going to go through, right? Sellers are trying to get as much money as possible, right? This particular scenario, I think we've found a seller who's in a very unique situation, but that doesn't mean there's not other investors out there that have noticed the same thing I am. So don't think that if you decide, hey, man, I'd love 20K, you could just do one video, look at one property, and then boom, you just get 20K. <laughs> not that easy, man. Numbers game. We got to do a lot of work, look at a lot of properties, and not all of them are going to go through so that's why you want to be smart. Get the big packages like my dude Shecky. He did a 10-pack. That is probably the right one for you if you want to flip houses. And uh, everybody else, if there's other folks out here that just came upon this show today because you're just interested in flipping houses or buying rental properties, just interested in seeing what it's like to be a real estate investor, we're all about providing you guys education and transparency into the industry. So do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service, turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Remora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.